Hello YouTubers and welcome to episode 11 of season 2 of One Time Releases. Today, we're going to take a look back at Louise Barnstormer Nash, the Thomasville Racing Legend, number 94 from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Louise Barnstormer Nash is a 1950 Nash Ambassador who was the first female racer in the Piston Cup who is and is in who and originates from Thomasville, Georgia and was inspired and by the late NASCAR driver Louise Smith and was voiced by Margot Martindale. And she also bore the number 94 in the Piston Cup. During her appearance in Cars 3 in February of 2017, a week before the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway, she, along with her fellow racing legends, Junior Moon and River Scott, who I unfortunately don't have, were seen inside the Cotter Pin Bar and Grill when Smokey, Lenny McQueen, and Cru Cruz Ramirez, Guido, and Luigi had entered. They even told well, Lightning and Cruz about the days of old. And according to River, she used to have serious eyes on the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. She stated that Doc didn't like fast women. And according to Louise herself, She wanted a chance to be on the Piston Cup circuit. Of course, the, uh, the officials wouldn't let her in, so she knew she had to get in there. So, so she stole a number 94 from another racer. Then later on in the film, they, along with Luigi and Guido, Begin training, such as three lap races and window sneaking with tractors, dodging obstacles, and moonshining at night, which meant that they drove through the woods without their headlights on. She was then seen at the Florida 500 at the of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway and congratul and cheered for Cruz on her victory. She was then later seen at Willie's Butte then during in the, the credits in a photograph she along with Junior and River received brand new paint jobs and flames from Ramon, which I don't have the hot rod Louise Nash, unfortunately. She then returned in Cars 3 as a selectable or playable character, except with the number 94. And during her diecast releases, she was released on, only one time as a single, which I got her from eBay like a month ago. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got her happy expression, her headlights and chrome silver gray front bumper. And the Nash logo on her hood, which is copyrighted. No tampons on the hood.
and on the and on both sides we got the maroon number 94 on her, her on her door the word ambassador with in gray which metallic gray which is copyrighted and the gas cap and the white w and the white wall tires I mean and the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires which are half covered and on the top we got a we got a bit of pink and her name Louise Nash and on the back we got her trunk and the chrome silver gray back bumper and the tail lights and and the words Nash Nash Hang on. And I don't know what that other word is. Tell me what it says in the comments down below. And the license plate saying first lady, meaning that she was the first lady in racing. And on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China, Mattel. And now for her collector's card, we've got Louise Nash herself in cream and maroon on her fenders. Thomasville Speedway, home of 94, Louise Nash. Frontier, Southern, Gasoline Gold, races every weekend, fastest racers every Sunday. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Thomasville inhabitants. We have Smokey, Junior Moon, Sweet Tea, Xanadu Bumpers, And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Thomasville inhabitant is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions and which car for the next episode should I record next. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below and on the voting poll. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel, and consider the support on change.org. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!